Miss Lennon is putting our train together. And I was gonna put it under the tree, but then I started putting presents and I was like, mm, you know what? I'm not going to move them. So I think we're gonna do it around the stockings. I believe in you, you can do it. Stop. What do you mean? Be very gentle. Should have made Hayden do it, but I know you can do it. You were asking for puzzles and all kinds of stuff, so this is right up your alley. Well, we got it together at least, but now there's no batteries in the train, so I must get some more tomorrow. Our elves are just so generous. Look at what they have done today. Oh, wow. Oh what do you think, Jazzy? That's cute, it's really cute. What do you it's think, Mama? It's adorable. Ooh. 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 You love crafts, don't you? It's it's great, I love it, 10 out of 10. 10. Wait, what is that do some 10 out of 10. Hayden got candy canes from them today. Yeah. Look how cute Lundy's little creation is. I love it, it's so cute. <laughs> This is officially the cutest little monster snowflake I have ever seen in my life. It's so cute. You're so creative, Miss Lindy. Jazz is getting her hair cut. This is a red hair. Lennon, what are you gonna get in your hair today? Some kind of a pink dark, like a dark pink. Like peekaboo, dark pink? Mm -hmm. like a pink. I think you should just keep yours like this, Jazzy. Mm -mm, no. I wonder if we need a. Um... Got you. Just spin. that time of day we are by we I mean Miss London and I are headed back to the salon um, our hairstylist didn't quite have time for her to get her like dark red or dark pink that she's gonna do she's just gonna do like peekaboo like low lights in her blonde gorgeous hair and I'm getting my extensions in so excited Jazzy's hair looks too dye for cute I absolutely love it Okay, I gotta go, I'll show you later, because the sun, like I said, it doesn't want us to do this. Okay, I don't know if this is better or worse, so we're just gonna go with it. I am expecting something really special and important, and I was hoping it was gonna come before we went to our appointment this afternoon. I have literally so much to do. I have the world's busiest day, doing things for my babies, which makes me the happiest person on the planet, of course. And we're under this huge wind advisory, so it's like my truck's you know, I am actually pretty proud of myself because I drove out of town twice this week without anxiety. Uh, so my husband ordered me a ring and I'm excited. It was supposed to be here between 12 and four. And so I thought just by chance, maybe it'd be here. It's about two o'clock. Our appointment's at 2.30 and then, so I have the older two kids looking out for it today. So I'm gonna show you guys what my hair looks like when I get to the salon. It's all gorgeously long. Hopefully you can see me. Also, we have someone riding our ass. Look, it never fails. But like seriously, like, do we have to follow me in like your Toyota? In your shitty 1997 Toyota. No, you don't have to. No, you don't have to do that. Just have some respect. Good morning, guys. I am on my way to go get gas, and then I gotta bring my truck in to get the exhaust fixed finally. It has been over a month <laughs> since I found out what was wrong with it, and the parts are finally in. So I'm not looking forward to it because <laughs> My truck's gonna be gone for like four or five hours today. And I have so much to do. 
but I guess this just means I can get more stuff done. I have so much wrapping and stuff to do still, so that's probably what I'm gonna spend my day doing. I have not been feeling the best the past <clears throat> couple of days, so hopefully that gets better. And, and, and I have my extensions in. I'm so excited. These ones are super, super, super long. They are 27 inches, I believe, uh, or 28 inches. And Yeah, 28 inches. And I love the quality. It's so nice. And I love my hair lady because she got me in super early before Christmas. I was supposed to go in next week, but they arrived early. I'm like, is there any way you can squeeze me in? And she's like, absolutely. So that was really fun. The girls got their hair done yesterday and they look so darn cute. They're getting so old. I can't believe it. Jazzy's just, oh, her hairstyle. I was a little nervous about it, to be honest, because it was so short. And I thought, oh my goodness, if she hates it, she's gonna regret it, you know, because it takes a long time to grow that back, but it's adorable and she loves it and the colors are pretty. So it made me so happy to see how confident and happy she was with it. And Miss London got her hairs done too. And she just, I don't know, they just walk different and act different. And I just, I'm so happy to see them excited. It's so much fun to be a girl and play around with hair and color and all that kind of stuff. So it's fun to have girls, but it's expensive. It's expensive. And I love my hair too. I got to do it. I just threw myself together to get out the door this morning but um this place that I go for my car or my truck is amazing because I had to have or I, I had to have a toad well I thought I had to have a toad because you know the exhaust I think I already told you guys whatever it was like really bad and so they towed it didn't charge me they're like oh it's totally fine just you know you did what you thought you had to do which I thought was so sweet of them and then the guys like um my mother can give you a ride home if you need one because I don't have any family around this shithole. Um, and I was like, well, I'll Uber or whatever. And he's like, no, 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 no. You're not Ubering. Okay, well, my mom will give you a ride home. I'm like, oh my God, that's so sweet. They're like so nice to their, you know, their customers there. And this morning when he called to confirm my appointment, he's like, just so you know, my mom's ready and waiting to bring you home, so don't get an Uber. It's like, oh my God, finally a nice person around this fucking shithole. Besides my nail lady and my hair lady and a couple people here. Green Bay is just, you guys, it's such a fucking shithole. We had an active shooter uh, a couple days ago and it was something about, uh, so freaking stupid. Apparently this guy thought his girlfriend was a robot and so he was like held a gun up to her head or some some crazy shit and then our one of our high schools here Some kids on Instagram posted 15 year old and 16 year old posted on Instagram that they were gonna shoot have a shooting and Because they got bullied or something and they thought it was a joke or funny when the police asked them and now they're gonna get charged, I believe. I believe they're getting charged with terrorist activity. Um, how, I just, it blows my mind that these things happen. I cannot believe it. You know, you're 15 and 16 years old and you're throwing your whole life away. It's just like, it's scary. And then there was a whole TikTok uh, thing where like nationwide, where they were warning everybody that it could happen today. Anywhere, you never know where it'll be. And so I kept, the kids out because I did get a letter from the school saying that they were aware of the situation they didn't believe it was an active threat to our area but still it's an excused absence if you keep your kids out who wouldn't keep their kids out um like I I don't know it, it's better safe than sorry in my opinion and I just like if I sent them I'd spend the whole day worrying and I wouldn't have a car so um I don't know I just I just can't believe all the shootings and everything that have happened lately in Michigan and, and I thought there was one other one but I don't can't really remember if it was just a threat or if there was another one but it just breaks my heart like the world is going through so much shit it's not that hard for people to be decent but it's the world we live in these days and it's actually scary and I never thought that our area was like that but I guess you just you never think your area is like that right so oh I hate getting gas I do not want to get gas. I hate getting gas. Mm, okay. Okay. 
yes I would love to wait for you to back all the way up thank you I have so much time to kill oh my god it's the Pepsi man cool thanks brah <laughs> I try to embarrass the kids talking like that it only works on Jazzy like Hayden doesn't even notice because he just talks like that you know and Lennon's like, mom, hee hee hee. <laughs> it's cute. It, that's how you know you're getting old because I I remember my parents like trying to be cool and I was like, ew, it's, you don't know how disgusting you are, but that's the fun of being a parent, I guess. I feel like I could throw up, literally. Oh, I just not feel good. Oh my God, okay. Stress, stress. God, unless everyone had the same idea. Get gas! I wish I could just have somebody get gas. In California, aren't there places where you go and they get gas for you? Like, I want, they need to have that here for me, please. Thank you. All right. Until I see you again. 